No, I'll be uploading. You, you, and people you, will be like, what the fuck's going on here? Because I've actually uploaded something. I think the last time you uploaded something was, uh, was the, you were, it was some kind of ROM hack, uh, Pokemon game you were doing. Oh, well, it was like Vega, yeah, which I still need to, I've still got like an episode, like, recorded from like months ago. But the last thing I recorded was, I believe, when, let me double check, probably when, like, Mimic Q was revealed. No, Stuffle. Yeah, it's Stuffle and shit were revealed. Like, the stuffle? Pre -evolution of aware. Stuffle? Yeah, pre-evolution of aware. Oh, who? <laughs> oh, the, the fucking panda that looks like an, like an idiot. Oh, the fucking, fucking panda. It looks, oh, I, don't, I can't, I can't look at it without going, fuck's sake. Oh, you mean the koala <laughs> thing? Or... No, no, that's Kamala. Like, I'm talking about beware, like beware. Like the bear, which looks oh, like pink. Oh yeah, but where, but where is fucking weird? There. Uh, this, uh, this is a okay. This is, I guess, this is like a generation one podcast for me. I'll put it in my generation one series. I don't know what I'll do with the thumbnail since uh, generation the, seven. Like cross the one out and put a seven on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Cause... about it. And then just put big red X's on the people <laughs> next to me and then put, like, a wheezing. And then just put, like, a stick figure smiley face. No, I'll just like, put my wheezing. <laughs> I'll just put my wheezing drawing in there. I don't know why I've got wheezing instead of, like, think. I kind of fell out with wheezing, really. Unless he gets the fire, poison, levitating, alone in form. Right, that'd be quite nice. You've had but... it out with... Are you telling me that wheezing isn't your favorite Pokemon anymore? It's never been my favorite Pokemon. I thought it's always been your <laughs> favorite Pokemon. my favorite. My, my original channel was Edspion. Oh. That's a bit of history. But I kind of, I didn't really fall out with Edspion, I just forgot about it for a long Dude, time. Edspion did a lot of work for me, and um, I used it in, in Pika 3. I used to use it quite a lot in 4th gen, like, and then it, it got, is. like, magic bounce, and then I didn't even use it. Like. It, it, it was good. Like, uh, yeah, Specs good, Espeon hits really hard. It's, it's like really a train, fun. and then it got a dazzling gleam in sixth gen. So, mm. fairy option for the dark types. Yeah, it's pretty. But cool. we're digressing. We'll talk about Gen one and two Pokemon. Let's talk about Gen sevens. Gen sevens. <laughs> yes, this, is, this gen will be a, this will be a podcast where we talk about Generation Seven, uh, Sun and Moon. S and M version, you might want to call it bondage version. Like. Bondage version, yes. Let's... I'm sure there's going to be something out there like some fan art. Dude, there already is. I, I'm well, I know. I mean, t <laughs> the sure title like, alone. The title alone. Like some bondage, uh, bondage. Uh, <laughs> fuck, now I forgot the characters. <laughs> bondage man. Bondage That's Bianca. Man Bianca, right. dude. Bianca's not even fucking. Something you mean, is she? No. No, oh. she's not. She's in uh, Gen 5. Or technically Gen 3, because the movie. What? No, you're not <laughs> Gen 2, because the movie. The movie? Oh, is Bianca yeah. in. Uh, oh, the Gen... Latias. Latias. What? Uh. The Latias and Latias. Bianca, but she could have been Latias and she kissed Ash. What? Is Bianca what? Latias? <laughs> You're really confusing me. I don't man. know. Well, okay. she was like, a friend of Latias, and then like the scene at the end, spoilers, even though this is like 10 years old at the time, or well, even more, 12, probably, like, apparently, like, at the end, before he got on the boat, she kissed him. Like, on the so map. Wait, oh, my. So, wait, like... Oh, was it in the cheek? Fuck, I don't know. This was in a... Uh, <laughs> this was in a, a, a Pokemon movie, was it? Yeah, so okay. it didn't work. So, so it, wait, Bianca coming. appeared in the Pokemon movie before it appeared in the game then? or No, someone called Bianca did. Like, but not Bianca is in the different oh. black and white. Well, shit. The, it was a different Bianca. Yeah, we just went on this rabbit trail for no reason. Is what we did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Leading you down paths. I wouldn't mind throwing my two cents in the... About the anime, the new one, because oh, oh, the art I, style. I really <laughs> don't want to talk about the anime, but I will say this: I think it's good that the anime is taking a new direction. I just don't like it because like, I was watching um, I think the looks... final battle of Kalos. And I was it... like, oh shit, this is what it's about. Like they were like, make well, they were like, trying to prevent something from getting to somewhere 
like battling, kind of was like, oh shit, this is not that bad, considering it's the Pokemon anime. And then you watch the uh, trailer for Sun and Moon, it's like, ah, la, la, I'm in school again. It's like, fuck my life. Well, I mean, I, th- I think Pokemon has been stagnant for a while. I know. I, I, I honestly, know th- I kind of want to. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I know the anime has been good up until uh, Ash just fucking lost again because he has to every time. Uh, uh-huh. That was heartbreaking. So disappointing. Why? Why can't they give him a win? <laughs> and then, like, his girlfriend character is just like shuffled off. She's just like, uh, well, that, well, it's over. Fuck it. Uh, you'd think, oh, she might go to Alola with him, well, that sort of thing. You know, you never know. So I just but, want to say, you know it's end times when Ash has a girlfriend. Yeah, Ash, I think that's what Ash the and Jarn, uh, John Arbuckle from uh, the American comic strip Garfield. Oh. Because he, he's dating Liz. It's like, what the fuck? Like, what? You've been hitting on Liz for like 30 years and she's been telling you no for 30 years and then all of a sudden they're dating? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I Surely think, for him, after 30 years, the magic will be gone. I, but... I think I think, I think John, John like kidnapped her or something. I don't know. That's the only way. That brainwashed her. <laughs> John, John Ar- Arbuckle is a very depressing person, I think. But that's really digressing. <laughs> have you seen Garfield minus Garfield? <laughs> uh, I, I think I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so me, funny. That's... Even the creator of Garfield's like, this is legit, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely, like, this is brilliant. That sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might as well talk about the new Pokemon, I guess. Uh, yes, let's move to the Pokemon. The actual meat. The, the meat. meat, not the anime. There's a lot the to meat. talk about, but uh, we're going to keep it simple and talk about the Pokemon that have been discovered. Um, I did want to. Oh, no, no, I, yeah. I did want to wait until the entire Pokedex was revealed, uh, but I can't wait, so I'll probably have to make two different podcasts, I'm, and that's okay. I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll all be good. Because I, I suppose we could have waited until tomorrow because of the data mining of the demo, but who knows? Maybe they've learned their lesson. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. By, Game to- we're talking by about. tomorrow, right. mor- tomorrow morning, we're probably going to know everything. Honestly, um, yeah, I, I just want to know what the star patient. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the leaked uh, drawings that are pretty. No, that's what I'm known. hoping. I just want confirmation. I I heard a rumor. I was looking at a link last night. A rumor, and I'm not sure if it's true or not. But it said that the final evolutions for the starters were version exclusive, so there'd be, like, two of them. Like, kind of like with, like, like Canrock. Uh, like, like that, like yes, the Form Street exa- game. Exactly, that's like, what, like... That's what I'm hoping. Um, that's what I'm I hoping. think that's actually really smart, uh, if yeah, Pokemon does that, because that means people will have to get both games. Well, it's smart is... <laughs> I mean that's it's a, annoying that's a, it's a very it's a very nice way to put it, but it, it's it's basically like a huge cash grab. Uh, I don't know if 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 the, you could trade them over and it would work that way. I hope to God you can just trade them over and not have to own two games. Um, uh, I, I really hoping... I don't know how the Lycan Rock thing uh, is gonna work out. I was really well, hoping it was a um, uh, Espeon Umbreon kind of deal, but it's different. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it actually just evolves into Lycanroc. It just happens to be either a wolf coyote thing or a werewolf with a fa- fabulous haircut sort of thing. But I think it's if you have Rockruff, because I'm getting Moon, if I have Rockruff on my game, it's going to evolve into Midnight Form. If I trade in my Rockruff over to my mate who's getting Sun, mm-hmm. it'll evolve into the, the spiky collared one. Yeah, so, so I'm guessing so like, it's going to be depending on when it's where it's evolved as opposed I'm, to. I'm looking forward to trading with you and other friends uh, I have who play Pokemon, and I'm just really hoping that you can get the werewolf and then just trade it, and then I'll just have the werewolf. Yeah, because I it's sta- I'm sh- pr- I'm fairly confident that it will evolve into the Midnight Form, and then you can trade the Midnight Form to Sun, and it will just stay the Wolf Form, with Werewolf Form. Like it's such a strange Pokemon, just solid ro- or a straight, I, straight up rock type. It's definitely become one of my new favorites. I I th- I think um, the the midday form is going to be really good. Yeah, so I'm just thinking. Well, ha- I suppose when I think about it is that 
It's got sand rush. It'll probably have high base speed anyway. Mm. And it's got Accelerock, the rock type priority, mm. which I think is kind of not really wasted. <laughs> But why does it get just that when it could be put on other rock types? I mean, Gigalith. Well, we don't gold, know. We don't. We don't know if it can be an egg move or not. I mean, I, 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 I think it, it might be. I think we might get an ice shard situation where some Pokemon gets it randomly for no reason on their egg move list. Uh, Hopefully, because that's an that. interesting move. It is an interesting move. It's it is the uh, the first Pokemon that is a middle finger to Talonflame. Which is this oh, one? Yeah. <laughs> there are so many middle fingers to tell and flame this gen, and uh, I think it it goes to show that uh, Game Freak is actually paying attention to competitive Smogon singles. Yeah, it's like well, yeah. I'd say they're still ca- or not not focusing on doubles because with the um, sort of well, they are focusing on experience. they're focusing on both. Um, but yeah, because they have so they're many actually- um, so many doubles oriented abilities. Yeah. Uh, with the new um, Passimian and Orang- Orang- or- or- Oranguru. Oranguru. Uh, I don't know how his instruct move works, but he sounds hella broken. I'm, I'm guessing I'm it's real- just basically uh, going to be an instant en- encore. I'm maybe. Re- I'm... Yeah. I I don't think it has. Pri- like... I don't think it has priority. Uh, so I think you'll have to use it in Trick Room in order to use it uh, really effectively. Uh, but if it do- like, if, if it does um, have priority, then it's going to be broken. But I mean, uh, I don't. Mm. If it doesn't have priority, then you can just taunt it, and then it's not that big of a deal. Maybe hold like it's uh, it's, it's one that gets rid of death type, the one that gets rid of torn. And then like not death scene, not. normal and is psychic is like, uh, I believe destiny nut prevents attraction or something. But doesn't it prevent taunting? Not X and Y. Yeah, in X and Y. Uh, and Men- as well. Mental herb, is it? I think. Oh, is mental that, herb. It's probably it a mental herb, yeah. Is it? Uh, <laughs> no, I think it, it might be. It might be. Yeah, I think it's mental herb. I get white herb and mental herb confused sometimes. White herb is the one where. Yeah, it the gets rid of debuffs, is... yeah. And then ment- mental herb is like, you cannot taunt me for a turn. Or attract me. Yeah. Yeah, which could be helpful. I mean, because in the trailer when Oranguru was revealed, I love it how we're talking about the Lycan Rock and the uh, the monkeys like trailer before any of them. Yeah, uh, might just, as well. Just how we go in. Yeah. But like with the trailer, they had the wishy washy, mm, which yeah. is the bizarre name. Why are you call it wishy washy? I mean, that's going to ruin everyone's rope and wash <laughs> name for one. But no, it just like... doesn't seem like a very good name for a giant f- killer fish either. Wishy washy. Like, I'm expecting some like sam sam monster or something like that. salmon and monster or something like that. Yeah, I was that, to evolve see that's a really sport. yeah. Me too. I was really hoping that would be the case. Uh, like having three wishy washy in the same party leveling up, which is a bit tricky, but still you can do it. And, and then it evolves to school form. It's weird because it's like there are so many po- there, are, there are at least uh, two Pokemon I can think of where. The Pokedex information, or whatever the information that has been given to us in English or whatever, <laughs> like there are a few Pokedex entries where they're like, "Okay, this Pokemon is straight up like super powerful." They say that for uh, Beware and uh, Wishy Washy. Yeah. And I'm really wondering if it's gonna live up to the hype because the way that it, it its ability works, it pretty much doesn't get an ability. Because his ability is just being in the school form, you know what I mean? But yeah, because it's it's just. Well, I think it activates. Uh, I think it's it, in the trailer. Yeah. It was like a certain level. So he basically, what level is it exactly? He, like we don't, I don't know, know yet. Oh, I, I, fifty probably. I hope not. Because we're talking to wank. <laughs> he looks like wank as shit. I mean, he definitely the this generation's Gyarados. But I mean, it, that, speaking of Gyarados, um, I don't know if you uh, s- saw it or what. But it said the information that this guy like beats up Gyarados is like for fun or something. It's like even Gyarados flee from Wishy Washy School. Even form. Gyarados flee. Even yes. Gyarados. Yeah. But I'm sure there's more fearsome Pokemon. And I'm and I'm like so more, this thing. Gens, this thing has to learn Thunderbolt because that's the only way. Because it doesn't have an ability. It probably does. It pro- 
probably doesn't get recovery unless it gets like some kind of unique uh, school of fish move kind of like a Oh, I could see it getting like um, a water version of like attack order and defense order or something mm, like, like with Vespa yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it got, I, could, I can see that. If it got like some kind of cosmic power and recover move, then I guess it would be all right. But like, it just doesn't have an ability, so it's but it's. When it gets, and when it, it's and when attack it gets stat is probably seven, like slacking level or something. I think to compensate, but then again, that doesn't really. That 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 just that just makes it really powerful because slacking loses a turn it's, every other time. So I mean, it's almost like defeatist. I think it's yeah. if it gets under like fifty percent or twenty five percent, it reverts back to the shit form. Are you serious? I think I, I think so. Let me just, let me just double check because I because think that that would definitely doom it to lower tiers, uh, without a doubt. Ah, uh, yeah, alters the Pokemon's form in battle. If health drops below a certain level, the form reverts. <laughs> this guy's a fucking joke. Right. This guy's a um, joke. It's probably going to be the slacking of this game, thinking about it. Now, it it really like, does look like the slacking of this game, because it's like, oh, let's just give it like this really shitty ability and then just say it's super powerful. Uh, I wouldn't say it's on the level of Regigigas. No, no. They were like, it's the best Pokemon ever with the worst ability in the game. I th you know who I think will be more like Regigigas is... Um, uh, type Null's Evolution, whatever it's called. Oh, Sil 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 Valley. Sil Valley. Sil Valley. I, I really think Sil Valley. Sil Valley is going to be Regigigas uh, without that ability. I think, and I think it will probably get. I, I hope it doesn't get banned because I want a powerful normal type in OU again, like like Snorlax days, because uh, we mm. we don't we haven't had a powerful normal type to really compete in uh, overused. Uh, pretty much I mean, ever. Like, if you really think about it, like, what is a pure normal type that's up in OU? Like, I can't really think of anything. Maybe that spot could be filled, depending on how good it is, by Kamala's evolution with that ability. Maybe. Because that's normal type. Well, it's going to be super good because it can get stab on anything. I mean, it's going to well, be yeah. not... It's, it's not going to be as good as Protein and Greninja for the simple reason that it can't switch types whenever it wants. It's going to have to... Uh, dedicate itself to a, a type with the item thing so it's basically Arceus it's Arceus Jr. Arceus Jr. I'm hoping it's OU Arceus everyone is uh, this vid everyone has expressed this opinion on YouTube already, already. Um, it's just my turn to make a shitty video about it but uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Pokemon um, that Looks hella weak, but are said to be strong. Let's talk about uh, Puka Mewtwo. Uh, Puka Mewtwo. Oh, I think this Puka thing Miku. is. I think this thing's gonna be OU. <laughs> In a doubt. That's a bit, that ability. Like I think it's like you know aftermath, where like it'll take uh -huh. like twenty five percent. In a doubt, it's like oh, speed. let me just like kill something for free. Like like. It depends how much HP it's got. I bet if it's going to have something like shitty, like base 50 HP, and then it gets knocked, well, out, knocked out. Yeah, and but still, I mean, that's why it gets still. pain split. It'll probably... I mean, it's literally like a little rock thing. I mean, it's a sea cucumber, right? With like a fluffy bunny tail. For, um, for God knows um, what reason. Bumhole nose. And then he has the... Mouth and then he has the fire blast on his... Uh, on his face. It's a fire blast well, I was going to say a bumhole mouth. But it is a bumhole mouth. That fist comes out, so it's like reverse fisting, right? <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be every every every, every nickname is just gonna be like I fist you. It's gonna be really annoying and douchey. It's, uh, it's gonna be no, awesome. the one no, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it now. The one nickname that I'm not looking forward to, and I think you can already guess, is a certain detective, detective. mongoose Pokemon. Oh. Gum Oh, D uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that at all because it looks like it's it's it's, it's, it's named Gumshoes, Gumshoe, uh -huh. and it looks like a detective. It, it's, it's just a shame about. It's the, supposed to look yeah. like Looker from like fourth gen or something. Yeah, it looks, I think it looks quite the, well. The, when the look, when you're looking straight at it, <laughs> it's yeah. stupid. But when you look it to the side, like it's actual art, it looks really cool. Uh huh. Yeah, if you look at it face on, it does look pretty dumb but uh, side view looks better um yeah, i think view. this pokemon is going to be uh
pretty good. I'm hoping so, because we need... Because stakeout is insane. It's just insane. Uh, I, you get a... Four switches. It's, it's, uh, you get a pursuit element to every move you have. Or it's... I think it's it not pretty really pursuit. Is. It's more if they come in, it will do more damage, as opposed to going out. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like... Um, yeah, it's basically pursuit. It's, uh... Oh, what's that ability? Um, uh, where the, the slower Pokemon does extra damage. Um... Magnezone gets it. Terrible. Oh no, it's an ability. Assurance. <laughs> oh no, analyt, anal anal Yeah, anal it's like analytic. it's analytic. like analytic, but better because you don't you can be fast and use it. As long as you force a switch, you're gonna be able to do. Like, and I'm sure because Gumshoes is gonna be the Gumshoes is gonna be the uh... the typical normal gen critter that gets every single like elemental movement for some. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe it will force switches. It depends because it might it's be gonna force Watchog. Switches. It's gonna it be might awesome. be. A, it, it might be Watchog or it might be Diggersby. Dude, you we know, don't know yet. It, it's gonna be better than Watchog just because it has oh, that Watchog. ability. Watch, Watchog That's was just it. dreadful. Like it they had nothing going for it at all. Like, <laughs> like it's like sure if there was any Pokemon Watchog. that should just commit suicide right now, it would be that one. Um, uh, it's useless. <laughs> but I think I think I think running protect uh no no protect wouldn't be good. There, I had some kind of really good idea with gum shoes and I forget what it is. Uh, oh, you can force double switches. <coughs> you can force double switches because they. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, you can like f you could force them to stay in with his ability, and then switch in any Pokemon you want. Kind of that, that that might not make any sense, but this might be a bit awkward to pull off. But trick red card onto an enemy, hit it, and then Gumshoes. I don't know. That's a bit pointless, but it would probably never work. Dude, we could do that. That would us. totally work. No, I was just I was just thinking because obviously you use a turn for trick. No, 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 no. Just give it red card to hold as an item. Dude, that's fucking genius. Because then they hit you, and then they switch out, and then stake out will do double damage. Oh, uh, it's a jet button I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah you're, red you're card. thinking yeah, of a jet. Yeah, yeah red a card button. is like the reverse red of your card, jet button. Oh my god, dude. We're, we're making Shit. plans. We're making plans. See, gum shoes with uh, a jet... No, red card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with, with red card. Red card was like my favorite item uh, in 5th gen. I used it... Um, what did I use it on? I don't remember. I had some weird Pokemon with red card, and it would work out like all the time. And I don't remember at all. It's it's okay. it's in one of my videos that's like five years old. <laughs> oh. Just go back there and look at it. But I uh, depending on what uh, what Gumshoe stats are, that will depend. But I mean just. The typing, the typings that they've they're going with, and the abilities are just ten out of ten. Like the these abilities, I mean, even strong are, jaw could be good. Yeah, these abilities are just good. Like they're just good. Like I, I mean, diggers be getting huge powers, brilliant. Yeah. But these have got like, but that had to be a hidden ability. Well, uh -huh. gum shoots straight out of the gate. It's uh -huh. got two awesome abilities. Yeah, I think um, we're getting more useful regular abilities. I mean, even the um, the bird. That we've not heard anything about in terms of our evolutions, Picky Peck, Skill Link. Maybe it could get things like Bullet Seed. Oh, I've, maybe he I've heard. Um, I've read and seen many rumors that say that it evolves into a um, a, a grass and steel type. <laughs> with, oh, okay. <laughs> with Skill Link. I've seen Steel flying. Which could be interesting. Uh, uh, well, there's so many rumor images that have been passed around, but yeah, uh, in one of, I think in one of the debunked, uh, Pokedex leaks, it was said to evolve into a grass steel type. I think I remember, like, grass flying, I think it was. I think it might have been grass flying or grass steel, but then you think, why have you got another grass flying when you've got Rowlet? Yeah, I don't think grass flying will be a thing. No. Um... And it doesn't really need steel type. I think it talks about steel typing in the information that, that it gives us, or something about its beak is powerful enough to drill 
through hardwood. So I, yeah, actually, I think its evolution is just gonna have a drill for a beak and be a steel type. I, yeah, I don't think I don't think we've actually seen it yet. Um, it, no, yeah, no, no evolutions for Kamala and Pickyback. <laughs> so it, it could evolve into a, a steel flying, which would be absolutely insane because that's one of the best types ever combinations. And that would be amazing in the in the main game. Yeah. Like, even just playing through the game, that's going to be brilliant. Especially because one of the Kahunas is like rock type. So it's like, no, steel on you. Fuck mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I get, the kids could learn early on that steel type is overpowered. Because <laughs> like, oh. in any randomizer, if you've got a steel type or a ghost type, you've won. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, I'm hoping the trainers are a little smarter this time around. Uh, that's one thing. Okay, so yeah. there, there are two points that I have... Uh, two big wishes I have for this game that I don't think many people uh, other than me have really expressed and that is to have um, to have team preview be optional like you can turn it off and on because that would invent an entirely like mirror metagame like yeah it would and be Zorark would love it Zorark would be OU for sure uh, Easy. like there would just be two different tier lists like it would, and it's just a, a completely different way to play the game, and I miss it. <laughs> I I miss ha having safe switchins. Like uh, safe switchins don't exist anymore, really. Uh, well, I guess I mean, they you do. know what's coming. Like, you always know what's coming, and, and they a... and they know what you have, and then they double switch out expecting it. And it... I mean, there is a sort of psychology, I suppose, but the fact of being blind, like uh, you just like I have no idea, and like leads will come back. Yeah. A lead, specific lead to combat. Yeah, like, there there were old Pokemon strategies that are just completely dead because Team Preview just snuffed it out. Um, so I'm sure that if, um, like, Team Preview did did become optional, I'm guessing that maybe the Midnight form of Lycanroc would be a lead with, like, Stealth Rock and Counter with a Focus Ash sort of thing. Yeah, dude. Because it seems actually, like it could be one of their little Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets Stealth Rock. It's a Rock type. Uh, hmm? And it has, ro it has Rocks all over it. Uh, uh, all I, over its skin. I should think so. I should think yeah. you'll get it. Whether or not by um, level up, but certainly Egg Booth. Yeah, hopefully Stealth Rock will be easily accessible, unlike uh, early XY, where everyone had a... Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, oh. black and white, everyone hacked the Pokemon anyway, so... But X and Y, especially. X and Y, you had to bring Tyrantrum with Stealth Rock. Do you remember those days where everyone had a Tyrantrum oh, with Stealth Rock? Because it was like the only thing that was like really easily got Stealth Rock. I think that Onyx and Steelix had it. Oh, I had Steelix. That's how my Steelix team started. Dude, That it started yeah, anyway. because I needed something easy with Stealth Rock. Dude, I, I love that Steelix, that Mega Steelix team <laughs> so much. It's so terrible. <laughs> awesome. It, it, it just throws people off guard, and it's fun when that happens. For me, I think that's extra fun. I don't know, I, 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 I've not really used Steelix in a while. Hopefully we'll get a load of form Steelix, I doubt it. But I, I just like Steelix how it is, to be honest. It would be um, it would be great if I had an Alolan in form because uh, mm -hmm. it's extremely weak. <laughs> or Onyx, I mean, I don't think they would give it to Steelix since they only do it to uh, red and blue Pokemon. Which I'm kind of gutted about because I wanted my. A lot of people are annoyed about that, but it's like we're getting this I'm... shit for free. Like this is yeah. uh, this is gravy, and people are complaining about the extra added content. And it's I like, mean... it's like just take what you can get. Like yes, they're red and blue Pokemon. It's it's whatever. It's fine. They they like to kind of like put the first generation on a pedestal. That's fine. It's all right. I don't really believe in it anymore. <laughs> well, because I, I, and it's, I, I, it's, I do like Alola forms. Well, I do like Alola forms, and I love the fact that we've got fifty three, fifty four currently revealed new Pokemon, <laughs> which should hopefully go down the black and white path of more. Hidden Pokemon, if so, I mean. Yeah, and I think. And more Pokemon to be revealed in game, as opposed to X and Y, where like 30 were revealed and there's only like 32. Well, they did say. Pokemon. I think it's been confirmed somehow that uh, 
legendary Pokemon are going to work entirely different in this game than any other game. Um, and we could talk about that too, uh, if not now, yeah. then later. I think they're hinting to the Ultra Beast being non-obtainable. I'm, I'm hoping. Really hoping. Because, I mean, I want them to be obtainable just because they're in the game. And, like, yeah. they look cool as shit. Like, this... Okay, so this is basically uh, the Heatran and Cresselia. Uh, but then again, ooh. Mm, ooh. Arceus should really be an Ultra Beast, to be honest, if it's the god. Dude, I think that rumor of, like, uh, having... Th uh, two different final evolutions based on your uh, game cartridge, I think that might be real because they are... They, I totally forgot that they did that with the Ultra Beast as well. Yeah, because they, they, got, they got muscle-bound Mosquito Dude and then uh, Cockroach Girl. <laughs> Which I've noticed is pretty much... Not exactly, but got a very, very similar pose to Lusamin. And I'm sure we're going to talk oh, about that. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, that, that's pretty much been widely confirmed throughout um, the underground dungeons of Pokemon fans or whatever. That, that doesn't... UB01 looks like Lily. Yeah. UB02 Beauty looks like Lucimin. I do want to use that, that uh, jellyfish. That looks like a fun Pokemon. Uh, it could be. It could be interesting. Just make it, but... like, super powerful. Uh, uh, jealous and <laughs> that'd be funny. Yeah. Oh, now just to bring us back on the new Pokemon because I've just looked at it for like ten minutes and I forgot that even exists. Oh, what is it? You know, we talk about Talonflame finger uppers. Yes. Bruxish. Bruxish. Yes. The, uh, the fish. Psychedelic the... fish. Yeah. yeah, I love the design. I I don't. I think. I I love the colors. Like these are complementary colors. We got. We got yellow and purple, and then we got the blue to kind of to play off the purple, or, or or it's not really the purple; it's like the pink. I think it's a good color choice compositionally from from someone who has taken a lot of art classes in the past. Yeah, uh, and I I, I, I do like Pokemon that are ugly. I do like them. Like uh, I, I like the fact that it gets dazzling and it looks dazzling. <laughs> But I mean, I was a huge Garbodor fan in fifth gen, just because oh, it was it was the bastard child of of fifth gen. Like everyone hated it. It was the, the ginger, John Snow, of fifth gen. the ginger headed stepchild. Yeah. Uh, well, he's not really ginger, but yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. But now I, I, I no, I quite like Van Lux. I don't mind Van Lux because when I read up about it, about the fact that it's basically based on a snow machine and it looks like that to catch a prey, I was like, yes, that's cool. I mean, what? But then I looked at Garboda and I was like, no, nah, you're still not doing it for me. Because <laughs> it was wanking all my... Whenever I used it in 5th gen, it always sucked dick. Oh, dude. So... Dude, and, and never used, like, it was God. I mean, yeah, I it's, it it was, it's, it's God and never used now. I mean, back then, um... I... I, I I used, like, Jolly Max Speed Attack with, like, Explosion and, like, Spikes and Toxic Spikes. And I think I used Focus Sash back then. I would get down yeah. to my Sash and then explode, and it would work. A surprising... Because you got, um... Surprising weak amount. Armor as well. Yeah, like, uh, I would get the Speed Boost with Weak Armor, and, like, I would get down to my Sash, and then I would have a really fast explosion to just throw at people. Um, the set that is all the rage this generation is... Like, super bulky with Rocky Helmet, though. Which is probably way better. <laughs> it's probably bad, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, we, um, so we got this guy. Like, this uh, this fish is a uh, water psychic type, which is one of the best types you can have. It's good to uh, just have yeah. another one. I have seen, like, some random, like... Um, just It was just, like, in passing, like, sort of... Uh, like, almost like fan art of, like, an Alolan form slow bro. With this biting on its tail. Oh. And it yeah. looked fabulous. And I was like, oh, that could be interesting. But then I thought, yeah. Dude, maybe that's not. something <laughs> that I've wanted for a while um, is the shell on Slowbro to be a separate Pokemon. And for there to be a baby form, like a calf Pokemon that can evolve into either Tauros or Miltank. Mm. Like, I think that would be awesome. 
I still want a minor tour, Torin. Torin. Here we go. Go on to Warcraft. Tauros. Yeah, that'll be mega. What a minor tour. I don't want it to be mega. Be evolution. I'm, uh, right. Okay. Let's go on to it. I, I don't. Th- like I think mega it might happen. Yet. I think it might really happen because it hasn't I'm gotten. An, it hasn't gotten an all in form yet. And um, it's been pictured in the artwork that regular Tauros is just kind of around. Like, it's one of those uh, riding Pokemon that was featured a lot. So. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Hopefully, because I'm on it all. Cool. Speaking of uh, Mega Evolution, uh, did you hear that Mega Kangaskhan got nerfed? I did. I actually told you about it. You did tell me about it. Well. Wow. Mentioned it, I think. But I think you might have figured out before. I don't. Know. But I was, I was very happy. Oh, I wasn't very happy that. Megan yeah, we were talking. First, but... You talked to me about it while I was at work, so you already knew. But, but I, I was... just, just that's just great. If we can get Kangaskhan down to an OU capacity, that would be really nice. And it just, I mean, Kangaskhan is pre-nerf was just the most broken Pokemon I've ever seen in my life, and I'm being very <laughs> honest. Being very, I, I played this game since it came out, since Sorry. Red and Blue, and like, I know all of the busted Pokemon, and he's 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 better than Mewtwo. I, I feel like it was ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, at least Brooksish and the the new Grass Rule Thirty Four Pokemon Sarina, they've got a priority. Fuck yous. Oh, that's right. Um, to Kangaskhan. I think uh, where is it? Where's that yeah. other, there, there are actually Bouncy quite a few uh, just pure grass types. I think I'm, I'm interested in the grass type, but seeing as I'm going to be picking Rowlet, uh, I'm not really going to use them. I mean, I, wanna, I think it's pretty I'll obvious. Use them in game, well, well, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at Lorantris here. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting that Lorantris. I think it's going to be a version exclusive. Um, and then, like, the other version will get. Serena maybe, or I hope they aren't version exclusion uh, exclusive because one is a uh, uh, three stages and one is a two stage. But that's a lot of. Uh, has that been a thing? I don't think it has been a thing. I think all of the version exclusives have the same uh, evolution forms. I'm not a thing. Um, well, maybe it. Maybe they. Maybe they uh, did it differently once or something, but. So that might have been, I'm not too sure, don't count me on it, but that might have been a thing where, like, well, I suppose Pinsir and Scyther, because Scyther's got Scizor and Pinsir has fuck all. Well, that I'm was, Scissor didn't exist back then. That's a good point. But in yeah. subsequent games, what we're talking about, I suppose, and Gliscor and, uh, well, no, Mantine and Skarmory, but then again. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, interesting. Some other- but yeah, we've got tons of grass going around this generation. And Serena, um, I'm thinking it's physical and probably learns Rock Slide. And if I'm hoping so. <laughs> and if <laughs> if it's a higher base speed than Talonflame, then it just beats it every time, and that will just be really funny. Or just or you kidding. could just choice scarf it, like that would be easy yeah. as well. Or even just I suppose yeah, just scarf it, and then Queenly Majesty, which is basically a reskin of Dazzling. I think it's gonna. Just... I think it's gonna get high jump kick, dude. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I would not be surprised because it's talking about its kicks all the time. So I mean, what it gets like stab grass kick and then high jump kick and then like rock slide like that. That's that's a Hopefully rock that's, slide. that's a pretty weird lineup, but that's pretty cool. I could see I that it was... aiding it to uh, a choice band or choice scarf set. It's because sure. like originally when I saw Bound Suite, I was like, what the fuck, this looks wank. I'm not interested <laughs> in this. And then I saw Sarina, and then I was like, oh, actually, this could be quite good. <laughs> this is quite wank. <laughs> it's quite wank. I oh, I do like how he's. Oh, it's, it's basically like a bulb of garlic. It's a mammoth. Well, no, it's not a mammary. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mango steen or something like that. That's what. It's. So that's cool. Sorry. That's awesome. That's probably some tropical fruit I don't know about. <coughs> it's all good. It's a fruit. It's like mud bray. I don't care about mud bray. It's all about mud's dale. Hey, I Which think could be interesting if it gets slap off. Mood Bray with Eviolite is going to be the tits. Like, you know it. Actually, it Type Null with Eviolite is going to be like a Porygon 2 situation. I'm pretty sure. 
Because yeah, I mean, and battle up as well. Because <laughs> it actually gets like a real uh, evolution stage, so that you can slap an Eviolite on there, and, and then he's gonna have uber defenses. Because the, the the information just goes on and on about how it's defensive. I like that yeah. it's got no speed because the thing's really heavy, and, and then like, once it evolves into silver, it, it sounds silver valley, it sounds like Porygon too. Like, it just really sounds like Porygon 2, and here he is. I just like the fact that it's a Chimera Pokemon. And it's also a synthetic Pokemon, just like Porygon 2. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably yeah. nickname it, like, Edward or something like that. <laughs> I'm going to name it, like, Crawling in My Skin or something. Edward. Wow, yeah, like, even his little hair thing is chained up. You can see, like, they have the before yeah. and after. Um... After. People thought it was like the anchor. I thought it was like an anchor. As one as most people thought it was like an anchor, like restraining it. But it turns out it's hiding its ma fabulous mohawk. Uh, <laughs> it yeah. looks fabulous. I have to admit, I do like so. Although it reminds me of Cusco from Emperor's New Groove because of the hair thing around its like. It looks. I don't know. It looks. Um, Savali fabulous. makes me think of Mecha Godzilla every time I look at it. For, I like the for um, some reason. headphone. Jaw thing. Yeah, the oh, head the headphone like... Power Ranger jaw thing, whatever it is, like it, it has the cyborg element to it, and it, it's very cool. Just Actually, just scrolling. looking Ooh. at it, yeah, they they look they literally look the same, except one has a helmet off. It's just <laughs> yeah, but I, well, I prefer it, in, in in any RPG. I always choose the helm not showing option, so Silver Valley's up my alley. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> now, I've, I, where did it go? Mimic you, you know, the um, ghost fairy. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks kind of like a Pikachu at Halloween. Right. That ability discard seems interesting. Yeah, there, there seem to be multiple Pokemon with an ability like that. Like, it gets that ability, and then this other Pokemon gets an ability that sounds exactly the same, which is, uh, what is it, Minior? Where it gets oh, my, yeah, yeah, Shield yeah, Stone? Yeah, Minior. Like, isn't Shield it's Stone like the same like thing? I think um, Disguise is it will nullify the damage of a move completely, and then for that turn, while with Shields down, you get to 50% HP. And then it loses oh. the armor, but while the armor's up for shields down, you can't get status. Ah. Uh, so maybe bring it in when you know status is a couple of That sounds along. pretty fucking yeah. good. Yeah. And rock flying is one of the best types in the game. I could see this thing being like OU, like like it could be OU if its stats good. are good enough. It doesn't look like it has OU stats. Uh, but then again, maybe it will evolve. I suppose a washing machine doesn't look like it's got OU stats. Dude, if it evolves, Eviolite on this thing looks kind of broken. Oh, I did because there was that leaked uh, Pokedex thing. You could, just, you could just give it. Oh, mighty! Yeah, mighty or sounds like a really good name. Uh, yeah. And then, like another expected evolution that we haven't had yet uh, is Wimpod. Is mm, I made up a yeah. pretty good name when we were chatting earlier. A, a strong god. <laughs> Strong God. <laughs> yeah, Strong God. <laughs> because cause it's like uh, the wimp or with odd. So it'd just be strong with odd. odd. So it would be strong and God together. So it would just be like... <laughs> it just sounds like the most ludicrously powerful Pokemon ever. And it has like a huge, and great, big like, it, muscle. It better have like, big pecs with, with like I nipples. I just want what? a good bug water type. Because Seskit was wank. Bug water is a very good type. It's only weak to um fighting. Uh no, Electric. it isn't it resists fighting. Bug resists fighting. Fly, I'm saying fl flying, flying. Oh. Birds. Woo -woo. Yeah, bird and bird electric. Bird electric. Bird electric. <laughs> bird electric. Uh, yeah. That's the only weaknesses oh. it has. And rock. What is wimp out again? It's basically a um Ooh. It's basically a, a jet, <laughs> no, a, a jet, but, but below fifty percent. There's a lot of reactive abilities in this. Oh one. yes, yeah. <clears throat> uh, all about pinches, and reactions, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's weird. Uh... Like stamina for Mudsdale is like increases defense when hit by a move. Don't know if it's gonna be any type of move or just physical. But if that gets slack off, I could see him using it a lot. 
I think the stat up berries are gonna come back in the competitive scene because of these pinch abilities. I mean, even with um, you know the um, sandcastle Pokemon, Sandy Gast and Palasan, which um, they're all right, hmm. but their ability is water compaction, which is basically like increases defense by two if hit by a water attack, and apparently it gets Mega Drain. So I'm hoping it gets Giga Drain. I'm looking forward to it. Come on. So that could be quite cool. I guess a physical water type. Huh. I, I, I just wanted to add it, and it didn't really fit with what we were talking about. But I just uh, to add it's it. one of the new Pokemon. I think it fits. Uh, I It is probably my favorite new Pokemon. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. I, I really like Salandit a lot. Just the, mm, the, abil corrosion. the ability to poison anything. That's going to be... And it'll get guaranteed poison, because it's poison type of toxic. Yeah, I think immunity ability might be the only way to stop it, or something like that. Zangoose, Snorlax. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But most Zangoose don't run immunity anyway, so... And toxic, well, then again, Toxic Boost, yeah. so... That guts... Guts and toxic boost Pokemon. Like I'm thinking, like maybe Harry Arm will be a good switch into because guts, and it also gets thick fat for like the fire. But, you know. Oh man. Again, I'm not really. A, I've lost my touch with competitive, so I really don't know what's going on at the minute with it. Uh, I, I, uh, well, I have I have a little bit yeah. left in me, uh, but it is definitely trailing off. I I I haven't laddered uh, like at all this generation. Like. I don't know. I kind of got a bit annoyed at sixth gen, but, like. I, I like it a game. lot. It, it There are some very annoying things about it, like how X and Y had such a shallow Pokedex. It just seemed kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, I, I, I think we are getting a really big one this time, with at least oh, 100. At least. Did you hear about the, the file size uh, of the cartridge? It's huge, apparently. Is it? Okay. Like I don't know if I'm making this up. Two gigs, I think. Is it... Is it like twice the size of XY or four times the size of XY? Holy moly! Right, the actual game is three point two gigabytes. Yes. And let's look at XY. XY was one point seven. Yeah, it's basically double. It's almost double. Nice. The size of XY. Awesome. Which sounds dude. promising. I've been telling people it's four times because I exaggerate all the time and lie, I guess, but. <laughs> But yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That that sounds promising. That means we'll get a post game, won't we? Because X and Y didn't have one. <laughs> They're like, oh, the game's well, over. Well, apparently the Mega Stones aren't going to be part of the post game, which I'd rather have because fuck them being in the game, right? But yeah, I think it was definitely game. definitely a mistake to introduce Megas like in the mid, like after your fourth gym or something, like something like that. Third. Third. Third gym. I, I was just guessing. But I think the Z moves. But the Z moves, they get introduced earlier as well. But mm. it's only one Z move a game, like a battle, like not a permanent thing, like with uh, Mega Revolutions for the battle, just one move. Oh. So I'm hoping Z moves are more balanced, and you can only have either Z move or Mega Revolution in competitive. That's what I'm hoping, hoping for. That would be great. I'm really worried that Mega Megas and Z moves will will be happening at the same time and so yeah, it'll, want, it'll be like war. nuclear warfare <laughs> like just tossing nukes at each other because these super powerful be, abilities and attacks and shit yeah i th i think uh toga de maru looks oh, yeah. looks like one of the many pokemon that have been added uh just f because vgc exists but i think it looks really good in singles too Iron barbs and lightning rod aren't bad. Not bad at and all. And electric steel. Not bad. It gets discharged. It's and like Magne well, Magnezone's quite good with its um with electric steel. Yeah, it gets butt fucked by ground, but that's mm -hmm. what air balloons for. Yeah, air balloon. And we don't know how what this um, thing's well, defense will be. Um it might be like 20 million, who, get, who knows? It might be off the charts. <coughs> it's really hard to tell with these Pokemon. These are, Because, like... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, th I have a feeling that Power Creep is going to make even the little baby Pokemon powerful in this mm. game. 
I'm, I'm hoping that the start, well, actually, I suppose last uh, gen starters were quite good. They I'm were. hoping this gen's, with the, especially with the two forms, hopefully, quite good. I just want the archer form for Rowlet because it looks so cool. I'm very certain that we'll get that. Uh, but it's. I want it for Moon. It's, it was re- okay, so it was really weird. Uh, with that, that, uh,. That leak that might have been fake that I looked at uh, this morning or last night or something about uh, the final evolutions having alternate uh, evolutions based on the version you're using. Mm. It kind of. I don't s- think it's gonna be evolutions. It's gonna be like camera. Yeah. It it kind of sucks guessing. because like okay the archer one definitely looks better than the other owl form that could ever exist, right? Oh yeah. And then like. Hmm. And then, like, I desperately wanted to be a moon. the siren, the leaked siren uh, Poplio thing was one of them. And then for the other one, it was like this super ugly fat seal thing. And it's like, no one's going to pick that one. Yeah, like, like no one's going to pick Poplio if they get that game. It's like with them, like, because it, ha- it has to evolve into the siren every time in order for the payoff to be worth it. Uh, but, but, yeah, no. but the, I'm sure if there is a four legged litten. Yeah, They're no, that was the other one. one. Yeah, there was a uh, on all fours Litten, and then there was the wrestler Litten. So that that was, I think, that starter actually won out in that scenario because both of those look good. Yeah, but everyone. Because I, I, quite, I actually quite like the wrestler. I just don't want it to be fired. I need to fire dark. Well, everyone's, I want it to everyone's be saying fire fighting, dark. but fire dark. It doesn't seem like there's any evidence for it, but everyone is reporting fire dark type. Yeah, it looks. Uh, as I say, it looks like a fighting type because it's a wrestler and it looks like it could punch you in the nose. But then again, I suppose it could be a dirty fighting wrestler and get yeah. dark type. Yeah, he's the bad guy in wrestling. He's like Dwayne the Rock. Yeah, he's Johnson. a. He's, he's, <laughs> I know, he's a, he was. A, I thought he was a tooth fairy. He was a tooth fairy. He he's had many jobs. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a well traveled person. <laughs> oh, we oh we cannot um, not talk about the Como O. Oh, I wanted to, yes, yeah. He's him and Lycan Rock are have to be my favorites of this gen so far. This thing definitely gets Dragon Dance. It gets some kind of really powerful move uh, that lowers its defense. It's probably base a hundred damage. It's probably gets its own Dragon Hyperspace Fury or something. So it gets okay. that, and depending on what coverage it gets, if it gets Poison Jab, Gunk Shot, Iron Head, etc., it definitely gets I'm Iron Tail. I'm guessing Iron Head. It, it has to get Iron Tail, its tail is huge. Hopefully they'll increase the accuracy of Iron Tail to like 85, because it's so unusable. I mean, if, I mean, the only time I really used Iron Tail was with Home Claws, Coil. Yeah. But even then, a Pokemon that put it on don't get stabbed off it. Yeah, what do you use so, it with Arbok? Or no. or was it uh Home Claws and Iron Tail, I can't remember what it was. It could have been uh um, Was it Home Claws Dragon Rush? Oh, I fucking know. Oh it was I, home, I just like it this was, it. Wait, who gets Home Claws Dragon Rush? I don't think Garchomp. Oh. Garchomp gets it. Oh. Home Claws Dragon Rush. Oh. I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, you could use that with Stone Edge, too. Why, why don't people hmm. use that as a set more often? God. I really want to well, use that a, now. I think, yeah, I want to use it. I think I actually have one on my, on my Garibi somewhere, but with Como O, which I think is still a name I can't really... Go, Como O! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it Mo O or is it just Moo? Hopefully not Moo. <laughs> Jang Moo. Jang Mo Unchained. Um... <laughs> But it's it just looks amazing, and obviously you know me, I'm a sucker for Drain Punch, and I hope it gets Drain Punch, and it gets put up. I don't, no. I don't think Drain Punch gets, really um, helps its coverage though. Up. Yeah, but you know me, I quite like my defensive Pokemon like King Eo. Well, this it. guy looks defensive up and down. Um, he definitely he looks like he'll be a good. If he gets Gunk Shot, I think he might get banned. <laughs> I think at least Poison Jab in Sun and Moon. Maybe an Eclipse or I think this Shiny thing is, Diamond. I think this thing is going to stomp Fairy types with Gunk Shot. And if it mm. does, it might get banned. Uh, we might have a Gunk Shot on our hands. It might force Sylveon and Gardevoir 
a Mega Gardevoir anyway, to run Moonblast instead of Hyper Voice. Yeah, soundproof, soundproof, right. I was really hoping Bulletproof uh, blocked Moonblast because uh, Blast is in the name. I thought it was like included Blast moves for some reason. Yeah, I, for some reason, I was looking at the. Bulletproof. I was looking at Bulletproof. It is Blast moves. I was looking at Bulletproof, and I was just making up which attacks hit blocks and just getting really excited about it. But it doesn't work on Moonblast. Uh, it'll be able to stop Gengar, but it doesn't really need that. So I think Soundproof will probably be the better ability, depending depending on who the big fairies are. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to be Morlo, the big fairy. Because Morlo, who fucking cares about Morlo? Unless it's a revolution, it's shit hot. Molo? What is it? Molo. Mor it's the little... It looks like you could put, you'd put it in Yarden, the mushroom Pokemon. It's oh, just a that guy. Okay. Grass Fairy, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks like an, e an even more shit Whimsicott is what it looks like. It looks like... It looks... I don't even know what it looks like. I mean, it's cute, but it's very insignificant. It looks like... You'd put like some things in your garden that chime. It looks like one of them. Mm. Horrible. Wind chime, probably. It might evolve. Like, I hope it evolves. I'm 100% sure it'll evolve. I love how it gets spore and sleep power. Does it? Like, <laughs> oh, spore. it does. That is. Yeah. Uh, then moves a that's, sleep power. That's really weird. <laughs> I don't think any grass, uh, grass Pokemon gets spore and sleep powder. Uh, what about. Uh, it, what, uh, or what were you, you going to say? Um, I was going to talk about Tapu Koko. I was going to interrupt you real quick and talk about Tapu Koko. Oh, that's cool. You yeah. can do that. Does he have, like, pincers on his hands? Or, like, what's the deal with that? It looks like it could be a beak. Because like, when no. it's actually in its armbands... So, it looks like a beak. you know they're going to... I think it's just pincer arm. You know there are going to be three more of these guys, right? Like, I'm 100% sure there will be. I'm 100% be, uh, sure because of its ability, uh, Electric Surge. There are three other uh, Pokemon moves that uh, do the same thing, but for different types. So I think there will be three other uh, counterparts. So there will be four in total. Grass fairy. Something fairy. I'm guessing. All of them are going to be part fairy wondering. as well, I think. I can 100% be sure. Yeah. Wow. Because all of these, it, it it reeks of the new trio. It just it. it <laughs> we need a new trio, even though it's probably going to be a quad, actually. But still, oh we yeah, get, we got fuck all in X and Y. To be honest, yeah, we really did. Fuck all. We really did get fuck all, and we made the cool best designs. out of it. Fuck. We we made the best out of yeah. it with our Tricker Malamar teams, and. <laughs> and I don't know what I used most in. Next one, I can't remember. You, you, beat, he just you really beat me bit. with Hound Doom, Mega Hound Doom, that one time, and I got really <laughs> mad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you remember? But then you 6 0 me with Slowbro, so. God, that wasn't, wasn't even, even fun. <laughs> I just stalled you with a Slowbro. <laughs> but it wasn't for me. <laughs> it was like it wasn't 60 for me. turns of stall. It was like, what is that? I don't think I ever uploaded that because it was so boring. It just was. Because I think. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think because I, I lost did. the one better battle that we had. Yeah, I lost the better battle, better battle that we had. So I was like, shit. Dude, but, I can't um, wait. I can't. Yeah, I think Tapu Koko. Yeah, like yeah, Tapu Koko. Uh, what are, what are the other uh, attacks? Uh, the other field attacks, real quick. Um, Misty terrain and grassy terrain, which are fairy and grass. Yeah, so there's going to be a pure fairy and then a grass I think fairy. think electric one is probably the best one. Yeah, because of that electric surge. Because electric gets her to sleep. So you, you cannot be put to sleep ever, right? And then, like, his electric moves are boosted, right? Yeah. And then... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, known moves is nature's terrain. madness. <laughs> what the fuck? It's basically a glorified um, super fang. Huh? It's a glorified super fang, Nature's Madness. Oh, was it? Or is it? Like, it cuts HP in half, yeah. Oh, I yeah. forgot entirely what it did. So wait, it's just super fang? There's no other added effects? Super fang is just 50% of your current health, I believe. Yeah, 
So Same with Nature's Madness. Oh. I think. Dude, what if nature is what if nature's madness like like leech seeded you and put you to half health or something? Oh, that's, that would be a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, that would be, oh, be pretty fucking broken. I was just hoping it wouldn't ju wouldn't Maybe. be a straight clone of of Super Fang. Is that just seems a little underwhelming? Yeah. Mm. It's a bit underwhelming, especially for the totem. Po well, no, the Guardian Pokemon on the Mele Mele Island or whatever. But um, I was going to talk about Oricorio, like the bird. Oh, uh, the birds? That can kind of mix in with the Tapu Koko. Yeah, because, because for each island, yeah. it's a different like, form and type, and they could be the types yeah. that the Tapu Koko's mates are going to be. Like fire, Psychic Fairy, Psychic Fairy, and Ghost Fairy. Yeah. There's the Electric Fairies over there with Electric and Flying Pom Pom. And Dancer as well with the uh, Quiver Dance. Which could be good in doubles if it doesn't take a bit of Hmm. I'm trying to look at um, these abilities. And they're, they're just. <laughs> they're just really wrecking my brain right here. Uh, but I was trying to look at. I quite like the look of Trio. What was that one? Um, Kumfe. Kumfe. The, the reef Pokemon. I can't remember what it's just called. Lay. Is it Lay? Oh, you put it around your neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I was looking at Soulheart here. Looking at Majorna. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, that, that seems... If it's any Pokemon that's knocked out, this thing's going to be busted as shit. It is. Is it? Because oh. like, in the trailer, when the friend's Eevee got killed... Killed. It boosted, and I don't think it says friend, just friend Pokemon. I think it's any Pokemon. Oh my god! So even in singles, there's so many this could go on a bit of a Moxie spree. Oh yeah, he can get his own little special attack Moxie. That's cool. I'm I'm really hoping if that is, is the case because because if it yeah, if that so. isn't the case, then he'll be useless in singles, uh, and that makes me sad. And like promoting killing them in doubles. Yeah. Yeah, that that would work out with like follow me Pokemon. Oh my! Mm. Oh my God! Or you could explosion use, Pokemon even. You could use protect and explosion get a boost, or you could use follow me and then just set up call mines or something until they die, and then get a boost off that. Although even, oh, even if um, even if uh, even if it does like spark off of um, enemy Pokemon fainting. Yeah. If the other Pokemon kills it and itself with like flare blitz or something, you get two boosts. Oh my god. Ooh, McGinnis looking good. And Steel Fairy. I really hope bug. it is super broke. Um, for some reason, yeah. Hello. Yeah, because Diancy didn't work. What? I am. Are you about to turn it off? Alright, could could you like um uh, could you like wait a couple of minutes? Okay. So my roommate's gonna turn the internet off. So, oh, that's all good. so I think that, <laughs> that concludes this podcast for now. There's so much we've we talked about a load of forums, like uh, we Well we we've, we've we've burned an hour already and we'll just do another one when um uh, we yeah. learn more. But yeah, the oh god, we didn't say, even... we've not talked about alone in the forms. We've not talked about this, Team we... Skull or the Ether Foundation. It's, it's, we barely scratched the surface, really. Um, yeah, but all I love all the alone in the forms. Very quickly, I'll just talk about them. Mm -hmm. I love how they're adding ice, yeah, ice it, types it and dark types way, and fairy types and we. We That's the point. Dark, dark types. types. There need to be new Pokemon, not just alone forms. Like That's there, there are. There is an actual lack of dark types. Like when you actually look at how many dark type, dark and ice types, there are very few of them in the game. Uh, like, so I think it actually like makes it, it makes a whole lot of sense for these uh, old normal Pokemon, normal and poison Pokemon, to just be part dark. Like I, it's nice, but I'd rather new Pokemon be dark as well. Um. Yeah. But I, 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 
It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's, it's the best thing this generation has done by far. I think it's is the really Alola like, region. especially with like Volpix and like Sanj. The oh, yeah. ones that completely change the types <laughs> are my favorites. Like Marowak. Nine Tails, Sandshrew, Sandslash. Uh, we have to we have to finish the video though because he's gonna turn the internet. All right. Because because then your voice will just trail off or just disappear like the call will just end. <laughs> um, but, and then it would just for both of us. We'll just be talking to ourselves. All right. Well, it's it's been really cool talking to you, Ed. I will link his channel. Oh, it has been. Um, you definitely do this again. Yeah, we will do it again. There's just too much to talk about. Um, uh, hopefully by the time we actually do it again, hopefully the new po uh, the Pokedex will be revealed. Well, so... the demo's coming out tomorrow, it probably will be. Um, but if you enjoyed it, comment, like, subscribe, and definitely check out Ed. And uh, this is Robotnik is Sexy saying bye-bye for now. Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon! Yeah. And uh, thank you all for watching, comment, subscribe to me as well. And also, if you're watching on my site, check out and the Robotnik is Sexy. <laughs> oh, yes. I know I've not been uploading for a while, but hey, I'm sure maybe... I'll put more there, there is one more game that will make you upload more, and I think it might be uh, S and M version. Maybe I have bandage version. Fantastic. The, are you gonna do shit cam with me? Because I know I am. Of course, dude. I I am dedicated wholly to shit if cam. If I had videos. the money <laughs> and didn't live in the UK and a huge massive shipping costs, I'd definitely get a um, capture card because I want to do like an actual LP of it as well. Oh yeah. But for the time being, definitely do it, um, if I can find it. <laughs> well, yeah, I will end the video now, but this has been really, really fun. Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. Oh, uh, definitely. I just love the rambles. We've been rambling to ourselves through messenger apps and shit, and we just, it's good to get it out in a podcast uh, yeah, we, video. I think we should do this more often. Yeah, definitely. Alright, well, uh, so goodbye again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. See ya. See ya later. See ya, bye.